Kristen and welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are having an awesome day. So for today's video, you guys, we are back with a new community survey. So as soon as I seen this over on Twitter, I was like, oh my gosh, I need to get back on my Sims channel. So just quickly wanna let you guys know that 100 Baby is actually making its way back this week on my channel, also with Sims. Um, we'll kind of get into that maybe in another video, but for today we are going to be jumping into community survey. So this says we would love to get your input and thoughts on potential ideas, additions, changes, and or features. So it says that this survey should take about 8 to 10 minutes to complete and is nine questions long. So I will make sure to leave a link where you guys can go ahead and actually do your votes for your own personal opinions as well. Okay, so we have, please read carefully. Oh my gosh. Wow, wait a minute. Okay, so culinary quest. Is this literally just like one? Oh my goodness. Oh my gosh, okay. <laughs> We're gonna have quite a few things to go over. So we have take on the role of a master chef. This is under the culinary quest. So find the best ingredients, create recipes, and keep that kitchen running through the dinner rush. Wait a minute, I kind of feel like that should be with the um, get to work with like the uh, actually being able to have like restaurants and stuff. Okay, so let's continue. So then we have the fan club creator. Immerse your Sims in fandom. Create clubs, oh, fan clubs correct, collect rare memorabilia and express your love drive. Wow. <laughs> drive a craze that could take over the town. I mean, um, when I was a teenager, I would be all about that when it came to like Backstreet Boys and Spice Girls, but I feel like isn't that kind of like get to work? Um, I mean get together where you can create clubs. Oh my gosh, okay. This is kind of interesting. So NPC story progression. Okay, so this is definitely what I have seen everybody talking about over on Twitter. So now your neighbors come to life. Sims outside your household live their lives from birth, marriage, and death. Imagine the possibilities when the drama can start next door. Oh my gosh, like, yes. <laughs> that would be so cool to actually see like your neighbors walking by like pregnant and um, that would be like really cool so you didn't actually have to go into every save and I'm fixed. <gasps> Wait a minute, okay, wait a minute, shopping malls, shopping malls. <laughs> um, the shopaholic in me is screaming, so all of your retail needs under one roof. Hang out, find deals, and discover the perfect outfit for a night ahead in full retail experience, mall cop included. Okay, wait, that's my number one so far that we have read. Now, keep in mind, you guys, everybody has their own preferences their own opinions, mine is shopping malls, okay? <laughs> um, this would be really cool. So I know with Magnolia Promenade, we do already kind of have a mall. And Sims 2, I believe you actually had to go visit like a shopping store to like pick out outfits and try them on. And I think that would be so cool, even if they could revamp Magnolia Promenade, because honestly, that world is so pretty, but there's really no actual like uses to actually like need to go there. I would love to see shopping malls and a mall cop. Oh my gosh, like would they be on that little scooter thing as well? <laughs> Oh my gosh, okay, cheer. Immerse yourself in the world of cheerleading. Where focus is king and distractions are dangerous. Keep them together, build routines, and make sure to stick the landing. That would be actually really cool if it was implemented for like both children and teens. Okay, so growing pains and life issues. Life is hard, now your sims feel those physical and emotional changes as they grow up. Realistic relations and emotional emotions bring deeper connections to the world around them. I mean, yes, I think that would be cool, but it definitely wouldn't be top on the list because I feel like we already do get a bunch of emotions that don't really do too much like for actual gameplay. Um, okay, oh my gosh, wait a minute. <laughs> yeah, 
guys, so we have, whether you're an aspiring Debbie or Danny Ocean, build your team to seek out and recover the stolen artifacts and to return them to the rightful owners. Can you execute the perfect plan or will you make your team end up in the slammer? That actually would be really cool. Definitely not one of the things that I would use like generally, but I mean, does that mean we would get robbers? Because like, why do we not have robbers? <laughs> Okay, so modern love and romance. Does this mean big love? Oh my gosh. So from love at first sight to digital dating, discover a world variety of relationship. Oh yes, it does. <laughs> okay, um, a wide variety of relationship types for your Sims. Explore their desires, taste, and preference. Take them on a journey to discover what works for them. Um, would it be bad if I was like, okay, this is my number two? <laughs> so high school or American high schools, cafeteria cliques, racy relationships, and SAT struggles. The halls are alive with the sound of drama, please. That is not, yes. <laughs> we need that. Okay, so I have three of my favorites so far picked out. Oh, bands. Okay, so we have go solo or build your super group, find your style and perform your way from the YouTube celebrity to sold out stadiums. Feel the pressure and demands of keeping the band together, record company demands and the needs of your adoring fans. Um, no, <laughs> it sounds really cool, but honestly, when it came for like get, um, get famous, we can already become famous and we can become like celebrities on computer for like YouTube fame. So I'm gonna have to pass on that one. <laughs> Even though like each one of them definitely would be like interesting to have in game. Okay, so we have on a scale of one to 10, 10 is the highest, one is the lowest. How interested are you? Modern love, I believe that one was my number three. I would say heists are for story progression. Oh, we can actually choose like, oh, okay, modern. Okay, definitely interested. Heist would probably be a three, story progression is a two. Fan club creator, probably a two. Cheer, yes, American High School, yes. Growing pains, life issues, malls one <laughs> culinary quest that actually would still be like really fun to have and bands is probably a three so number two please rank the following ideas with one being your most wanted and 10 being your least wait a minute they're switching this up one being your most wanted okay let's get realistic here shopping malls is one then oh my gosh oh my gosh modern love would probably be let's do three for that one and then high schools we're gonna do two one two three um we'll do four for npc story progression even though i know basically everybody is going to um probably pick that then we have five Let's do six for growing pains. Bands is literally going to be number 10. I'm sorry. <laughs> um, six, let's do seven, eight, and nine. Okay, there we go. Shopping malls, then American high school, modern love, then NPC story progression to cheer, growing pains, culinary quest heist, um, fan club and bands. Okay. <laughs> Let me know what you guys actually choose. Ooh, rank the following locals with one being your most wanted and 10 being your least wanted. You guys, I'm actually really excited with these questions. Is this like for Sims 5? Because I mean, Sims 4 is already created and almost done. <laughs> like what is going on? Okay. So we have Italian vineyard, vineyards, um, Costa Rican rainforest, South African city, Brazilian beach town, Korean city, Chinese countryside, Scottish highlands, Greek islands. I would love like real life to go to Greek islands, Swiss mountain town, and Spanish city. Okay, so number one, number one being your most wanted, Korean city, because I feel like I'm never gonna get there in real life. <laughs> And that is the only way. Next, I think we're going to do South African city. So we have two, three for Brazilian beach town because I can't go on vacation and I would love to travel the world. 
So we have one, two, three oh, Italian vineyards. I would love to do something like that. I would always love to go to like Tuscany. Spanish city is um, five, you guys. I'm Canadian, so I really, you know, like to explore everything. <laughs> Non-Canadian, so we have five. Let's do Chinese countryside. That is fun, I think. I mean, I've never been there. Um, six, let's do seven. And then we'll do eight and nine and Scottish Highlands, I'm sorry, is 10. These are just so interesting. Okay, so on a scale of one to 10, 10 is the highest, one is the lowest. How interested are you in the Sims team deepening the existing content below? Being born with traits, ooh, that, Actually, yeah, that would actually be really cool. Kind of like out of your hands gameplay, which I'm all about. Control of Sims that are not currently on the active lot. Mm, not really interested. Developing traits over time. That actually seems cool. Connections to family members outside of a household. Yes, I mean, you know, when you want to move out and you want to continue the story. Um, consequences of making or breaking relationships. Yes. Long-term desires. Okay, we'll do a, a nine. Short-term desires. Let's do a nine. Family evolution outside the household. Yes. And emotions. I mean, we already have emotions. So I will do a number eight. So please rank the existing content based on which you would like to see the Sims team deepen within one. One is your most wanted. Okay. Emotions. No. Don't really care about that. We already have it. Literally has zero to like no impact on the game. Um, control of Sims that are not, not worried about that. Short term desires. Wow. <laughs> not worried about that. Consequences. This one I'm actually... We're gonna do number one. Um, let's do two connections, three family evolution. That is actually kind of cool. That would come in handy for like a hundred baby and legacy families developing traits over time. Let's do five and six. Yeah, these are like. I mean, Sims 4 is already created, so I don't know exactly where this is going. <laughs> okay, so pick the following create a Sim categories that you would like to see additional content for. So pick at least one and no more than three answers. I would like to see more hair. How about more makeup, trendy makeup, not, you know, the lipsticks that we have. <laughs> And I would like to see more tattoos. I would like to see more piercings as well, but I don't know if that would really be classified as accessories. So why new creative sim categories would you like to see added? Prosthetics, vitiligo. Oh, I think that's um, like multiple skin colors. Like I think. Body hair, definitely stretch marks. Hello. <laughs> Dual eye color scars and burns. Prosthetics, definitely. So we can do three. Let's do that. I mean, there's also stretch marks. Like, I personally would like to see all of them because these are all realistic. Um, I mean, everybody kind of wants to make, you know, Sims look like them. Uh, so we have number eight. Please rank the following life stages based on which you would like to have more creative Sim assets. Is babies in here? Um, <sighs> poor babies. Okay, we definitely need more toddler stuff. So one being the most, children definitely, I'm sorry, but children, toddlers, and elders are so neglected in this game. Um, young adults, adults probably have the most selection, so we'll go with four. And then the last question. So life stages based on what you would like to see additional gameplay for, one being your most wanted, this is the only one. And then where's the elders being number two? <laughs> Free the freaking baby Sims team. Oh my gosh, we need to like, you know, take them babies out of the cribs. We need strollers. We need um, like so many, I don't even know where to begin. We need to be able to put them on the floor and let them crawl around. So number one, definitely babies. Elders want to go to bingo, you guys. <laughs> Send the elders to bingo. Okay, so then I think we could definitely have more for toddlers to do and children. 
I mean, adults and young adults literally have everything in the game. So we'll do five and six. Okay, so is that the end? All right, where do you stand on current, current events? Share your opinion. So of course, you guys, I will make sure to leave a link for this pinned down below in the comments. Give today's video a very big thumbs up. Let me know what you guys think of my choices. And of course, what is your top selections in this survey? Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you all next time. Bye, guys.